Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Nikki the Creator. I'm your favorite manifestation coach, making manifestation super simple for you guys. Before we get started, make sure you click the link down below to my VIP group. We have a self-concept challenge going on right now. And make sure you click the link down below to get coaching or to get custom affirmations, whatever you want. I'm here for that. All right, but we're going to jump into the topic today. We're going to talk about checking the 3D for validation and getting caught up in that loop and, you know, how to really break that loop and how it's connected into you um, stepping into your power. All right. And so the best way I can think about it, it's like sometimes you get so caught up in thinking that the 3D happens first and then you happen. Does that make sense? So it's like a lot of people think like the 3D and then it's like, first and then it's like oh okay but how do i change that the 3d is happening to me but it's not happening to you you created the 3d to do that right and so now if you don't know what the 3d is it is the physical world and the 4d is your thoughts your mind all of that good stuff right and so the point is to have your desired 3d your physical reality right and we all know that your dominant thoughts are what creates your life neuroscience proves this spirituality proves this even religion proves with faith you will have what it is that you want guys with persistence right and so what happens is you see and and i'm gonna come for a lot of you in this video because i was here as well you see something unwanted like um let's talk about in regards to a relationship you see the girl or guy do something but that whole week before that whole two weeks before you saw that you were thinking how you were not good enough how he has to be or she has to be texting somebody else um relationships are not it why are relationships so hard i just can't get this right with relationships uh but then in the same breath you were thinking oh but i really want a relationship i want to get flowers i want to go on dates and so you had those flip-flop thoughts for two weeks and then the second week you get something unwanted in your 3D and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened to me. Yes, you do believe that happened to you. For two weeks, you thought about how things don't work for you in relationships. And that's the kind of awareness and accountability that you need to be taking when you are a deliberate creator. How are you thinking in regards to your desire? Now, this is the part about the video that is like, I want you guys to really be aware. You think like that for two weeks. I'm just giving a number to two weeks. It can be a day. It can be three days. It can be a week. But you think like that for two weeks. You get that result. And you have the nerve to check and be like, why are there no changes? There are no changes because you have not changed yourself. You have not changed your thoughts. Your thoughts have to align to the person you want to be. Your thoughts have to align to the things you want to see. I'm Dr. Seuss in this bitch. You have to align your thoughts to what you want to experience. So when you're not doing the work of changing your thoughts and you're consistently checking the 3D, you're literally checking the 3D for the 3D to tell you what's going on in your mind currently. So in your mind, if you are thinking that whole week, I'm not good enough, nothing works out for me, blah, 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 blah. And you go and check to see if anything has changed. The 3D is really going to be like a bully in school and show you exactly what you've been thinking. And what happens is it hurts your feelings because we're human. And then you're mad. And then you're like, oh. Why am I not getting results? And then you reaffirm, why am I not getting results? I said in a post in my community tab the other day, all you need to do is apply what you have learned. And I'm like giving tough love in this video because I want you guys to understand if you break certain habits, you will get the results that you need. When I started out in manifesting, I still I had that that pro that that month where I'm like I'm not seeing anything what the heck so I had to sit myself down and when I reflected for that week because I teach you guys from experience of what happened to me but also what I've applied and I've seen results with so after I sat down myself down for that month I said okay realistically Nikki how were you thinking for this week for, for this month how were you thinking and I'm not gonna lie that month 
my thoughts were all over the place. I thought that I was, I was very insecure that month. I was not working on myself. I was not prioritizing myself. I was not flipping um, intrusive thoughts. I was just letting them run amok. But at the same time, I was affirming. So I wasn't keeping a mental diet, but I was trying to affirm. So I was getting hot and cold. I was getting nothing. I was getting stagnant movement. And I was just getting frustrated because then I would have the nerve to go and check social media and go and look around and be like, where is that? And creating more of that. Hence why I really teach you guys to apply what you learn. So I said to myself, what can I do in my routine that's going to help me to break this habit? One, understanding that it first begins with me. A lot of you guys don't understand that. And I want you guys to really pay attention to this part. If you are the creator of your story and you're writing the script and you're writing the movie, that means that all the next plays that are to come, you wrote it. So if you don't write it, you don't pay attention to it. Only pay attention to the script that you are writing. It starts with you. And then what happens is if you pay attention to that script, your mind is filled with it and it's going to be reflected back to you. And whoever needs to shift and move and play their part will play their part. You don't need to worry about that part. Some of you guys are trying to worry about the plays, who needs to go on what scene. What... Write your script and focus on your script and it will happen. And persist in your script. Affirmations is the script. Right, guys? When I buckled down and I began to work on my mental diet, catch thoughts that were a little bit sneaky, really repeat my affirmations, stop checking and trusted that I'm the only validation that I need. Meaning if I said I am loved, I don't need my SP or anybody else to tell me I love you. I am loved because I said I'm loved. I am powerful because I said I'm powerful. I always get what I want because I said so. Now, of course, I don't need it, but of course it began to be reflected back to me because I stopped looking for it. I just began to say it until it was like, a, all right, I'm saying it, this, God, this is what it is. You have to discipline yourself to stop checking. You don't necessarily have to ignore, but you have to stop checking for results. The results will happen. It is the law. It's like two plus two equal four. We we know no matter how you put two plus two, you could put two plus two next to each other, two plus two on top of each other. It's going to equal four. The law remains the same. A thought persisted in will harden into fact, whether that thought is something you believe or not in the beginning. Stick with your story that you desire only and it will harden into fact. It will. That is the law. And you can go back to multiple times that this has been proven in your life if you need a little boost. Think of all the little or big things. And I say that because everything is the same to me. I don't see them as little or big. But go back to all the things you have manifested when you weren't even aware. Good or bad. It's the law. You always get what you want, guys. Stop checking, stop worrying about how fast someone else got it, comparing yourself, thinking, oh, but they got it fast and they started after me. So that has nothing to do with you. We're focusing on you, prioritize you, prioritize your desire, get disciplined and stop checking, guys. I'm getting serious in this video because you, you're looking around when you should be looking within. And when you look within, you begin to get clear on what you desire and you begin to really say, I don't care, I'm going to get this. And you will. It can happen in a few minutes. It can happen in a day. It can happen in three days. It can happen in whatever amount of time. It doesn't have to take years. It can happen now. You just have to get disciplined and focused. Stop checking the 3D for validation of your desire. Once you say this is what you want, it is yours. And you have to keep persistent in the fact that it is yours. That's it, guys. All right, guys, I'm Nikki the Creator, and I will be back.